Hi friends, last session I have shown basic settings, GL master creation and GL posting into the system and next session I have shown accounts payable, configurations, vendor master creation and automatic posting. This session I am going to show account receivable complete process, how data flow into the SAP system. Now I am going to create customer account group. Entering OBD2 transaction for customer account group. I selected new group. MRF 4 customer group. And the field selection I am taking as reconciliation account as required field. I am going to create number ranges for my customer. I am going to select one of the customer group in this list. Assigning number ranges to my account group. I am selecting my customer group and I am going to select one of the number ranges in this series. I am saving it. Now I am going to create number ranges for my account receivable. I am selecting DZ. I am going to create customer payments number ranges. Same way I am going to create number ranges for my customer invoice. Sixteen and from number range system automatically show which number range is available. It is available from 5001 to till 999. I am going to select 5001. I am giving group till 6000. The number ranges will go from 5000 to 6000 for this document type. See my customer document. For 2016, available number range 6001 to 7000. I am giving. I am saved. Now I am going to create customer master data. I'm going to select my customer group.
let me check my customer group what I created hd02 ob d2 I'm just viewing my customer group I created as MRF customer group fd01 I selected as customer group and my company code is MRF my customer I am selecting as Rahul and company and street number I am giving as one Mysore Road eight four as postcode for my customer and cities I am going to give Bangalore. Country is mandatory here. Region ten. Same I am going to select reconciliation account and a sorting key I am going to select as my customer number and a payment term 01 I will come for dunning data after once I post the transactions then I will we go for dunning procedure I am going to save it save I will check my customer details here see no items is selected because I have not posted any transactions for my customer now I am going to post some transactions and I will see how open items create into the system is 70 I'm changing my company code MRF and my customer as one customer and are giving my invoice date reference 100 and posting data so I am giving as 16 amount is I am giving 1000 rupees sales I am going to select my revenue account here amount as 1000 description sales hitting enter I'm checking my payment term simulating my entry customer is debited and sales is created with thousand rupees I am going to post now Yes, 5001 document is posted. Now I am going to show one more entry into my system 15 with a 07 2016 references MRF 101 reference number with 5000 amount sales. I am not posting with any tax code now. 5000 sales it's asking for tax code but I am not selecting any tax code without tax code I am posting simulating my entry Rahul account is the customer account is debited and sales is created saved I will check my open items into the 
line item display i selected my customer line item display my customer account number with my company code open item selection till 77 2016 i am going to see my open items one open item is overdue one is due one is with overdue i will see my terms of payment when it is and i will go to see net due data also now one payment is due for today and other payment is already overdue net due date on 10 7 2016 so both the payments are ready for receipt now we are going to show how we can clear manual clearing if it is automatic clearing we can do with the bank statement uploaded into the sap through transaction ff underscore file once we receive bank file from the bank we upload the bank file into the sap system so with the reference of customers with reference of reference number of customer invoices system recognize what the payment is incoming payment is for which line item so according to that system will clear the customer invoices we can see through fee band transaction how we received transactions and according to which transaction the invoices got posted now i'm going to clear manually i'm selecting manual clearing transaction code and the clearing date is 17 7 2016 vendor payment and bank i am selecting as my bank and the amount i am going to select 15000 complete amount and open items with my customer account i am going to see here these two items one is for due with seven days one is due for today i selected 15000 now i am going to clear totally i selected 15000 but our actual amount is only 6000 5000 plus 1000 so i am changing my account as 6000 now now i am going to clear it so i am going i am going to select 1000 plus 5000 6000 it's already selected i am going to simulate my entry incoming bank account customer is created i am going to post now we'll see my open item list what happened in my customer display i selected open item list nothing is selected i am going to all items to view my entire data what happened to my open items and how it is got cleared my open items 1000 and my open item 5000 got cleared with clearing document 4001 Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day. Thank you.